Spiders are not what you would call cute. In fact, a lot of people are afraid of them. Whenever I see a spider, I usually scream and call my imaginary boyfriend to grab a cup and trap it. I never kill them though, and you shouldn't either. In fact, you should pretty much just leave spiders alone and let them crawl around. I'll tell you why here on IO. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Remember that thing you were told as a kid, if you kill a spider, you'll make it rain? Surprise, it's true. Yes, that's right, scientists have discovered that killing spiders causes a change in the weather. And you heard it first here on IO. I'm kidding. Killing a spider might not make it rain, but it's definitely not something you should do. First of all, spiders pretty much stay away from humans whenever possible. They are way more afraid of us than we are of them. All spiders do is they build their webs, they hide, and they wait for an unsuspecting bug to fall in their web and kill it and then eat it. You might not even know that your home has a couple of spiders in it. According to a visual survey of 50 North Carolina homes, anthropods existed in every single home surveyed. The most common types were cellar spiders and cobweb spiders. Occasionally, spiders bite, but it's pretty rare and their venom is definitely not powerful enough to cause more than a minor itchy bite. Secondly, spiders are good for the environment. They're an important part of your household ecosystem. Yes, your household has an ecosystem. It is very small, but they are part of it. Spiders trap and eat household pests. So if you've got a fruit fly problem during these hot summer months, a spider will take care of it for you. And mosquitoes. Spiders love mosquitoes. And the thing about mosquitoes and other pests like that is they can actually carry diseases. It's a good idea to leave spiders alone in the garden too. They can basically be your own personal pest control if you just let them do their thing. Did you know that there's a species of jumping spider in Africa that specifically eats blood filled mosquitoes? Of course, there are some exceptions to the rule. Obviously, if you see a black widow spider in your house, you should probably at the very least, catch it with a cup and a piece of paper and put it outside. As you should do with all spiders that you find in your house if you really can't have them there. Put them somewhere like a deck or a backyard. And as a way to get over your arachnophobia, I strongly recommend watching the YouTube series Lucas the Spider. Or just try observing spiders once in a while. They're actually not that bad. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you on that. It's time to respond to some of your comments. Lele Jones said, I'm here for you, not the news. Oh, for me? Me? Oh, that's nice. Isaac Whale said, the cure to everything has been found, your channel. I mean, that's nice, but definitely don't watch IO to clear up that nasty rash you got going down there. Should, uh, should probably go to the doctor. Elizabeth Bruhog said, I miss you, Charlotte. I thought IO posted every day. Until further notice, we won't be posting on Mondays. We will be posting Tuesday to Saturday. That is all, folks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to IO for all your news and uh, turn on those notifications while you're clicking stuff. If you want to stay on this channel, there's a playlist for you that's right over here we put together. And you should follow us on social media. Our links are posted in the description. That's it for me. See you in another video.